The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's live webinar, Sign Clients on the Spot with AssureSign's SMS Electronic Signatures. Demoing our newest solutions for sending documents for signature using SMS text messaging. This webinar is produced and sponsored by AssureSign and General Counsel News. I am today's host, Anna McDonald, and I am very excited to get to the demo portion of this presentation so you can see exactly what this looks like and how easy it is to use. But before we do, I want to quickly provide some background and a few benefits of electronic signatures, as well as the how and why behind our new SMS signing option. Most of you may already be familiar with this process of getting documents signed electronically. Probably think of the typical option for using a signature, which would incorporate sending an email to your signer's inbox, allowing the signer to select the signing link, view the document, and provide their signature. While this is a very common option for signing, here at AssureSign, we understand that no two organizations process for obtaining documents are the same. So why should your signing experiences be? Our new SMS signing option is yet another way in a suite of products to allow our customers to find the best signing option for your unique business processes and operations. Since launching our SMS feature, we've seen a huge demand within the legal field. Using SMS to obtain e-signatures allows legal firms to sign clients on the spot eliminating the opportunity to lose that client to another firm. So like mentioned, I don't want to spend too much time going over the benefits, but if you are not familiar with a sure sign or electronic signature, we do think it's important to understand what's causing more and more companies to make the switch. I want to quickly just recap the three top benefits that companies who incorporate e-signatures are seeing. First would be velocity. Signing contracts electronically can have a dramatic effect on time to sign. By removing those traditional barriers of signing, some of our customers have experienced an increase in sales of up to 65% just by implementing electronic signature. Next is cost reduction. So the average paper-based signature costs an organization over $5 in document printing, copying, faxing, sending, scanning, shredding, and storage costs. If you send a minimum of, let's say, 150 documents a month, that equals around 1,800 a year, that results in $9,000 in just one year. By replacing paper-based processes with ones incorporating these signatures, you could save up to 75% of the amount previously spent pushing that paper around. And those facts come from Forrester Research. Finally, we have risk mitigation. Have you ever sent a document, uh, maybe even a contract, and wondered where it was in the process? Yep, us too. Using AssureSign's required workflows and digital audit trails for all signers allows you to see real-time analytics of the document sending process and helps to achieve a 100% completion rate that we are all looking for. Now that we know why more companies are making the switch to incorporate electronic signatures, let's specifically talk about why and who would use SMS for sending documents electronically. The first reason is probably obvious to anyone who is using SMS for personal or business matters. Emails have an average open rate of only 20%. But did you know that text messages can have as high as an open rate of 98%? That is huge for getting your document into your signer's hands and opened much sooner. Not only that, but Connect Mogul found that 90% of text messages are read in under three minutes. If you're like most people, myself included, we have the habit of starting an email or document, for example, but not quite finishing it. Maybe you just mark it as unread or flag it, but with how concise text messages are, they make it fast and easier to read, and signers are able to complete them much more quickly, increasing your document completion rate. And the last is the response rate. Text messages have a 45% response rate, while emails only have six. 
So not only is sending a text message more likely to get opened, but sending a document via text could increase the likelihood that it is also read and signed on the spot, thus increasing efficiencies and potentially revenues for your firms. Now at this point, you might be thinking these stats are great and all, but we're talking about business here. Do people actually text for business purposes? And that's a great point. Since launching our new SMS texting feature, we've seen a huge interest from the legal field. Captura, one of the leading legal intake softwares, has actually been working with a number of their customers to convert the way they send documents to SMS text messages. We predict we'll continue to see these numbers increase due to the convenience of signing clients on the spot and not to mention the millennial generation's familiarity with using text messages for just about any form of communication. In addition to the legal field, we've also seen a demand for SMS within the insurance field and pretty much any customer with employees in the field or on the go. All right. So now that we've gone through the why of electronic signatures and SMS, let's dive into the what by showing you a little demo of how this product can interact. We're going to go ahead and start first off with our AssureSign portal uh, that you will see on the screen currently. And we're going to be sending today's document through our new feature of our simple setup. How you'll access that is just by going to our Documents tab, choosing our simple setup. And what you'll do here is simply just drag and drop a document in or press the Add button to easily access one from your computer. We will go ahead and just select a membership application. And to add a signer to this application, all we'll have to do is click the Add Signer button on the right, type in their name. If we feel like bombarding them, we can actually choose to send it via email and text message, but we'll just do text message for today's purpose. All to do is type in the number. If you want a security password, you can add that as well, but it is an optional feature. We will save that signer. And to add signature lines, text boxes, drop down lists, etc., all you have to do is choose from the list below, drag it on over to the page and then size it as you see fit. We'll throw a date in here as well. Now to send this document out for signature, all I have to do is press send. And now it has been sent to the signer's phone to start the signing process. Now you'll see up here in the top right hand corner, I do have my phone attached to my computer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up this message And you'll be able to see exactly what your customer will be receiving as a client to sign. Now, this message that you'll be receiving as an SMS text is a little less more or a little less customizable than what you would be able to do with an email, solely due to the fact that it is needs to fit into one message. Uh, otherwise, you might cut up that link and they won't be able to sign. So you'll notice that you can actually white label the process to say document to sign from insert your firm here. Uh, and then they have the signing link right underneath. If we go ahead and click the signing link, you'll be able to notice that it's pretty much the exact same signing link that you would be able to find within an email. Uh, so it'll populate within a browser, which means that it can be signed on any browser capable device, including a phone, tablet, or computer. Uh, so it works great with that SMS text on a phone capability. The next thing that you're going to notice is a few ways that makes the signing process even quicker for your customer. Uh, first one is going to be the white labeling process. They're not going to have a lot of questions because you're going to have your logo and colors throughout the signing process. Uh, as you'll see, we do have for our demo account Captura with their logos and colors. The only thing they'll see of a sure sign is in the bottom left hand corner, powered by a sure sign. Next step to make the process even faster for them is if you are familiar with any other e-signature vendors, some of them actually make your customer go onto their website, 
create a profile, and then start their signing experience. For us, we don't want any of your customer's information, and we do realize the more steps you give someone, the less likely they're going to do it right away. So we like to make it just these four easy steps that you can see at the top, uh, and they won't have to go onto our website, create a profile, sign in. It's just these four steps. So as you can see, the first step's the welcome page. On to the next is where they'll agree to the terms and conditions, uh, which is just uh, agreeing to sign electronically, which is defined as a sound symbol or process. Once they have agreed to sign the terms and conditions, the signing process has started. Now, you do have an option here. You can either have them input their initials and signature prior to starting the document so that they can easily just implement it in each signature space with the same signature. Or you can have them sign as they go throughout the document. Now, the signature you'll see here is one of our two options. The first one, as you see here, is going to be our written signature, where you'll use your finger or stylus on a touch screen or a mouse on a computer, where you'll simply just draw out your name like you would do on a paper and pen. We'll also put our initial in here as well. Now, the other option that you do have is the ability to have it typed out. Uh, so that's where they would actually type out their name, and then you can apply one of our 10 cursive fonts to it to give it more of that authentic signature field. Now, I would say that most people using it for uh, SMS text on a phone do utilize the written signature because it does work best on a phone device. We'll go ahead and adopt our signature. And as you can see, we can apply it at the different signature locations throughout the document. So we've applied that. We'll put in our date and continue. Now, as you have it on your phone, you'll see it on my computer right now. But since we do have the SMS functionality, we do also have the best user interface experience um, on the phone device, just with visuals and being able to size, um, to zoom, etc. Um, so it's just a really good experience for your customer if they are using it on the go. Now, when this document has been finished, a few things will occur. One, it, the Signer will also receive another text message with the completed document attached for a link. Uh, so they can actually have that accessed right there so they don't have to uh, be sent another one of the completed document via email. It'll be right there on their phone, um, as we can see right here. Also, the originator or the person who sent out the document will also receive an email uh, letting them know that it has been completed and will have access to that completed document right there in the email as well. Lastly, you'll also be able to find it back within our SureSign portal, uh, always either under reports or you can simply just go to the document details of that specific document. We'll be able to find the completed document and also the audit trail, which will tell us every step of the way that this document has gone through, including the IP address, timestamp, etc. So if you have two signers, this is really helpful in being able to figure out where it is within the process. Now, we also do have an expiration date on all of our documents, which means that you can actually change that around to three days or 30 days, whatever works best for your use case. But in lieu of our SMS sending capabilities, you can also set up reminder text messages uh, to have them receive a text message either every day until they sign it or whatever days you have designated throughout that time period until it expires. Uh, so just another way to kind of take a little bit of that process, streamline it, and make it a better experience for your customer. So that's a little bit of a sure sign and demoing exactly how this could work for your firm um, and what that SMS process looks like on the back end and also on the front end. Now, with that, we are going to close out our webinar. Uh, thank you all for joining on, and I hope that we were able to show you a little bit more about the AssureSign process um, and also shed a little bit of light on a new solution that could help out your firm uh, streamline that process. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to uh, sales at AssureSign.com. We would love to help you out in any way. The number to reach us at as well is 407-215-0249. Have a great day and uh, we'll be speaking to you soon.